This breaks my heart in a different way. Yeah. Mm. Republicans <laughs> voted... Say no more. <laughs> unanimously voted in Mike Johnson as the 56th Speaker of the House. Now, if you're not familiar with this man, who is now second in line for the presidency, here are some of his takes on various things. Take a look. You must vote to sustain objections to states of electors submitted by states that we genuinely believe clearly violated the Constitution and the presidential election of 2020. They're invalid on their face. That's just the conclusion that you have to reach. If a child is halfway delivered out of the birth canal, is it permissible to have an abortion? Would you support the right for an abortion then? I can't even fathom that ever. And I'm not asking you if you can fathom it. If it occurred, would you support that abortion or not? That's unrestricted abortion, right? That's a question that I can't imagine. I, just like you probably can't imagine what you would do if your daughter was raped. But so this, this, this guy doesn't believe that the election was fair. Mm -hmm. He thinks that you can have an abortion in the middle of having a, a baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because clearly he doesn't know how women's bodies work. Um, is this the guy we really want sitting in there? No. Well, yeah, not to us, though. Here's the thing. He, he looks mild-mannered. Does he? Yeah, he has he the glasses. But, but at least Matt Gates and Jim Jordan have the decency to look evil. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. guy is like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Just yeah. watch him. Mild-mannered, uh, anti-abortion, anti-LGBT, anti-climate change. He's a big taker of fossil fuel money. Yep. The guy, and, and by the way, the hubris of these Republicans to go against the will of the American people. American people are all in for women's rights, gay rights, climate change uh, things happening to mm -hmm. fix the environment so that we don't all die on this planet or drown on this planet. Uh, and they have that, that is what I call hubris because they are not listening to the American people. And next year, we're gonna fix you. Enjoy this guy. <laughs> this is actually going to benefit Democrats and reasonable-minded people for, the, for these two reasons. The dangerous part of extreme people in the, in the House is that they could pass legislation. They can't. So that legislation will then have to go to Senate and then President Biden, both of which, whom are Democrats. So that's done. And two, this was the reason people said they didn't get all these people in in the midterms. Normally, the opposing party has a wash of incumbent people. Mm -hmm. They have one of the slimmest margins in history because of extreme candidates. Yeah. Yeah. So the fact that they put this guy in, at first I was a little upset with Democrats because I thought they're people first, not party, not power. Why did they not get on board and give help vote someone in that wasn't this? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because this was strategy and it will ultimately benefit every reasonable mind person in this country you think because they, so? yes this will cause people to vote them out that well, is it. and listen I think, so. I think this morning there were a lot of Republican senators googling who is Mike Johnson um he was Susan Collins intents, said she had yes. to google him for all intents and purposes Warren he was, heard another Johnson bring him on <laughs> oh my gosh um but I would say Nobody this has, have, has my party I learned that Johnson <laughs> I don't has mean my, you know what Johnson did mean. Go ahead. Has my party learned nothing? This past week, we had Jenna Ellis tearfully admitting the election wasn't stolen. She believed lies. This was untrue. Mark Meadows reportedly cooperating with federal investigators to yep. say exactly the same thing. And then the 2022 midterms, where we lost, where election deniers were defeated yep. nearly across the yes. board. This is somebody who amplified the biggest lies about the we'll election. Say. He yep. circulated a letter basically promoting this fringe Texas lawsuit to disenfranchise millions of Michigan voters voters, weirdly. And he even spread that Hugo Chavez conspiracy theory that Sidney Powell did. Um, that worries me. But then also, in the year of our Lord 2023, the majority of Republican voters support marriage equality. So of the fact course. that he, he does it, you're out of step record. with the actual electorate who put you in power. I'm going to leave it at this. I'm going to pray for him, just like I pray for Joe Biden. I think you want the best for leaders. Sometimes rising to higher leadership positions is a sobering thing, and it makes people be, at no. times, more moderate in their views. I don't know, but we're going to hope for it. Let's, let's yeah. hope so. I mean, I, I, I feel the same way. You know, I hope that cooler minds, smarter minds prevail, but the New York Times called him the most important architect of the Electoral College objections. And, uh, and certifying the election. I think what we need to keep in mind is now that he is second in line 
to the presidency. God forbid Trump wins the election or loses the election, the person who would then have to certify the election um, would be this guy. It's ridiculous. And I it's think ridiculous. what is really terrifying is that he could have this significant role in the next election. And I think that's what the Republican Party at this point is banking on. I think they're banking on the fact that he will try to bend constitutional law, he will try to bend election law, and he's shown that he is willing to do that. He is a lawyer, after all. But he doesn't, so I, he I, doesn't I, want to keep funding Ukraine, which I think is a dangerous idea. Well, and he's You've got to be able to stop Putin. He's like Hitler. Yeah. Reality you can't is, keep him going. Reality is going to come at him fast because the majority of Republicans and Democrats want to support Ukraine. One thing I do want to say, there was a note to Democrats because there was some heckling on the floor yesterday that moderate member, Republican members were going to lose their seats and they were chanting bye, bye, bye at them. I constantly hear my Democratic friends say, we want reasonable, smart, sound Republicans, but then they cheer when those are the ones that lose or they draw out Adam Kinzinger's seat. I think that there bears some responsibility to say, if you want serious people, don't root for them to... I don't... Yeah, you know what? I, don't, I can't even buy that. I can't even buy that because... It, what we have seen over the last couple of years is unconscionable, just in, in terms of how people have done stuff. So yeah. if occasionally the Democrats do something dumb, because, you know, I don't like it when they do that either, because <laughs> I, I don't think it's a good idea. But, you know, this, this, this is beyond what we can do. When are they out? When, is, when would this gentleman be? He'll be up in 2024. Okay. Oh, good. Well, he's uh, in Shreveport, Louisiana. He he's going to be there for a long time. He's going to be there for a long Oh, no, I no. thought you meant when he's yeah. yeah. We'll see, actually. Yeah. He's up for re election a, a year from now? Uh, yes. The, the whole but house in Shreveport, is, Louisiana, but where he's very popular. November yeah, but, 17th, government funding runs yeah. out. That's his first test. That'll be the yeah. first test, and he won't make it past it. But I, I just, you know. I believe that people want stuff done. Mm -hmm. And because so much has not been done for the yeah. people uh, over the last couple of years, people are pissed. Yeah. They are Even not Shreveport. happy. Even yeah. Shreveport yeah. is yeah. I hope they Everybody's are. annoyed. I, I think we'll see a lot in 2024. I think, I and I'm, I, I believe the people will <laughs> finally say, listen, I don't mind difference of opinion, but now you're you're in my pocket. Mm -hmm. And he's also trying to be in your yeah. faith. And I, I I'm so sick of evangelical Christians hiding behind God to discriminate against people. That's I'm right. so tired of that. Well, you know, I'm tired of that. It's because they actually haven't read a lot of their Bible. I think so.